Hello everyone, welcome to your 30-minute morning yoga for gratitude practice. This will be an energizing full body flow. We'll work a little bit on moving with the breath, opening the heart, and we'll end with a gratitude meditation. We'll begin class today in a comfortable kneeling position at the back of the mat. So coming to sit on the shins, you can place a blanket underneath the knees for more support if you'd like. Let your hands rest wherever they're most comfortable. And then go ahead and close your eyes. Taking a few deep breaths here. Soften the shoulders and soften the muscles in your face. Feel your entire body relax. Now begin by noticing your inhales and your exhales. Just being mindful of how you are breathing before you begin your day. How we breathe can say a lot about how we feel. So just take a couple more breaths here as you begin to tune inwards. And remember we're not trying to change the pace or depth of the breath at all. We're simply allowing the breath to enter and leave the body naturally and with ease. Now keeping the eyes closed, gently bring your hands to heart center. Think of something that you are grateful for today. Something that you are grateful for in this very moment. And then hold that image in your mind. Perhaps coming back to this image at times during your practice today. Bring your chin towards your chest. Gently blink your eyes open. Slowly start to come up onto the knees. Inhale to reach the arms up overhead. As you exhale, twist to the right. Bring the hips back over the heels. Right hand will come behind you. Left hand to your right knee. Gaze over your right shoulder and lengthen through your spine. As you inhale, come back through center. Lift your hips up as you extend the arms overhead. As you exhale, twist to the left, bringing your hips back down, left hand behind you, right hand to your left knee. Coming back through center, this time as you inhale, lift the hips, reach the arms up overhead, and then find a slight back bend as you reach your hands behind you, pressing your hips forward, opening your hearts. As you exhale, slowly release the hands down to the mat, come into child's pose for a few breaths, extending the arms out in front of you and resting your forehead on the mat. Start to breathe into your belly. Soften the sides of your neck. Take one more breath here. Then on your next inhale, slowly lift your gaze, peel yourself up. Walk the hands over towards the left side, plant the left hand down, and extend the right arm up and over, coming into a side bend, stretching through the right side, 
and then round through your upper back, placing your right hand down, walk your hands forward, and then all the way over towards the right side. Inhale to peel the chest open, reach the left arm up and over. Breathing space into the left side body. Again, rounding forward, dropping the left hand down, coming all the way over towards the left. Left hand comes down as you reach your right arm up and over. One more time on the opposite side, reaching the right arm forward, coming through center and then all the way over towards the right. Right hand will come down as you reach your left arm up. Round through your upper back, plant your hands down in front of you, come into tabletop on your hands and knees. Keep your joints stacked, keep your spine long as you spread your fingers wide and press into your palms. We'll start to move through a few rounds of cats and cows. So as you inhale, drop your belly, lift your gaze. As you exhale, push the floor away with your hands, bring your chin towards your chest. Inhale, lift your tailbone, lift your heart. Exhale, tailbone tucks under, draw the shoulder blades apart. Good, continue to move here at your own pace, moving with your breath. And then on your next breath, come back to a neutral spine, flat back. Walk your hands forward just a few inches, tuck your toes under, send the hips back towards the heels, and then lift the hips for downward facing dog. Straightening out the legs, pressing the heels down towards the ground. You can have a slight bend in the knees here if you'd like. Keep the spine straight and keep the head and neck relaxed in between the arms. Ground down through the hands and feet. Come back to your breath. One last inhale. Exhale fully. Gently bring your gaze to the top of the mat. And then step your right foot forward. Drop your back knee to come into a low lunge. Untuck your back toes, ground down through your right foot, and then inhale to reach the arms up overhead, shoulders stacked over the hips. Draw your low belly in, extending the fingertips up towards the ceiling, and gently squeezing the inner thighs together, keeping the pelvis stable. Take a big breath in, as you exhale, twist to the right. Bring your right arm behind you, left arm forward, palms facing the right side of your mat, hips still facing forward. Breathe here as you press your hips down. Come into reverse low lunge. Right hand will come to the back of the left thigh. Inhale to reach your left arm up and over as you reach your fingertips towards the back of the mat. Keep pressing the hips back, feeling that stretch in your left hip flexor. Take one more breath. And then extend the arms out wide once more, lifting the hips slightly. Cartwheel the hands down to frame your right foot. Tuck your back toes under. Lift your back knee and then simply straighten out the right leg to come into pyramid pose. Keep the legs as they are here. We're going to move through a flow in just a second. First feeling that stretch in the back of your right leg. Good. On your next inhale, you're going to lift your heart forward, bend into the right knee and drop your left knee down. As you exhale, lift the hips, straighten out your front leg and fold back into pyramid. 
As you inhale, come back into that grounded low lunge. So dropping the back knee, lifting your gaze. As you exhale, come back into pyramid, folding over your right leg. One last time, dropping your back knee, inhale to open the heart, press the hips down. As you exhale, lift the hips up high, fold over the right leg. Transition into warrior two, spin your back foot flat so it's parallel to the back of the mat, facing the left side of your mat and cartwheel the hands up. Extend the arms out wide so that they're parallel to the mats. You can readjust your stance here if you need to. Keeping your upper torso even in between both legs. Gaze forward. And then flip your front palm. Find reverse warrior. Resting your left fingertips gently on your back leg or maybe finding a bind. Wrapping your left arm around your low back and resting your fingertips on your right thigh. Breathe space into the right side body. Come back into warrior two as a transition, gazing forward. Come into extended side ankle, resting your right elbow on top of your right thigh and reaching your left arm up and over. Keep your core engaged here. Try not to dump too much weight onto your right arm. Lifting up out of the shoulder joints, strong through the legs. Transitioning back into warrior two, gazing forward. Triangle pose, straighten out your right leg, leaning forward, placing your right hand on your shin or maybe on the mats, but keeping your chest open towards the left side of your mats. Gazing up at your fingertips to open your chest. Keep pressing your left hip back. Come back into warrior two. Gazing forward. And then cartwheel the hands down to frame your right foot. Spinning on the back toes. Step your right foot back to meet your left foot. Come into a high plank position. Hold here. And then slowly with control, shift your body weight forward, bend your elbows and lower all the way down to the ground. Keep your hands underneath your shoulders, untuck your toes, press into your palms as you inhale, come up for baby cobra, keeping the elbows hugged in, draw the shoulders back. As you exhale, lower back down, press into the palms, come back through tabletop. Tuck your toes under, send your hips back and up, downward facing dog. Ground down through your feet. Find your foundation here. And then gaze at the top of the mat. Left foot will step forward, coming into your low lunge. Drop your back knee, untuck your back toes. Left knee stacked over your left ankle, ground down, and then inhale to reach the arms up. Shoulders stay stacked over the hips. Gently knit your rib cage together to keep your mid torso engaged. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, twist to the left. Left arm comes behind you, right arm reaches forward. Palms open towards the left side. Reverse slow lunge. Place your left hand to the back of your right thigh. Inhale to reach your right arm up and over. Press your hips down. Feel that deep stretch in your right hip flexor. Ground down through the legs and through the feet. Take one more breath. Extend the arms out wide. One breath here. And then cartwheel the hands down, framing your front foot. Tuck your back toes, lift your back knee, and straighten out your front leg, folding over your leg here, getting that stretch in your hamstring muscles and then finding that same flow from before. 
So as you inhale, lift your chest, bend into your left knee and drop your back knee down. Good, as you exhale, slowly press yourself back up, lift the hips and fold over your left leg. As you inhale, drop your back knee, press your hips down, open your heart. As you exhale, fold over your left leg. One more time, drop your back knee, inhale, open your heart. Exhale, lift the hips, fold over your left leg, pyramid pose. Spin your back foot flat so that it's parallel to the back of the mat and open your hips and chest towards the right side of the mat. Extend the arms out wide, pressing your palms down, gazing over your front middle finger. Keep bending into the left knee, stacking your joints, keeping the weight even between both legs. Flip your front palm, reverse warrior. Right hand will come to your back leg or you can find a bind here. Reaching that left arm up and over, fingertips reaching for the back of the mat. Keep bending into your front knee. One more breath. Come back into warrior two, gazing forward. Extended side angle. Left elbow comes to your left thigh, extending the right arm overhead, bicep towards your ear. Ground down through the outer blade of your right foot. Keep your core engaged. Transitioning into warrior two. Triangle pose as you straighten out your front leg, lean forward, left hand to your shin or the mat. Rotating your body towards the right side, your right shoulder is stacked over your left shoulder, gazing up at your fingertips if that's comfortable for your neck. Come back into warrior two. Cartwheel the hands down, framing your left foot, spin on your back toes. Step your left foot back to meet your right foot for high plank. Hold here, then lean your body weight forward, bend the elbows and come all the way down to your belly. Untuck your toes, press into the palms to lift yourself up for baby cobra. As you exhale, slowly release, tuck your toes, come up through tabletop, downward facing dog. One breath here in your downward dog. And slowly drop your knees down to the mat, untuck your toes, come into child's pose. Take two breaths here. On your next inhale, slowly lift yourself up, coming back into that same kneeling position that we started off in. As you inhale, lift your hips up high, reach the arms overhead. As you exhale, twist to the right, press the hips down, right hand behind you, left hand to your right knee. Inhale to come back through center, reach the arms up. Exhale, twist to the left, gazing over your left shoulder. Inhale to come up through center, Finding a back bend as you reach the arms behind you, pressing your hips forward, opening the heart. As you exhale, plant the hands down, melt your forehead to the mat, child pose. Breathing into the belly, feeling the backside body expand.
preparing to come into a child pose twist. So extend the arms out in front of you, lift your gaze, and then thread the right arm underneath the left arm, placing your right shoulder and your right ear on the ground, and then lift your hips up slightly. So lifting your hips up away from the heels, keeping your right palm face up, Breathing into the twist and feeling the stretch in your right shoulder. Take another two to three deep, full breaths here. And then preparing to transition into half camel. So you can keep the toes as they are here, or you can tuck the toes under. Place your left hand to your low back or to your left heel. On your next inhale, you're slowly going to lift up onto the knees, rotating towards the left side, reaching your right arm up and over as you press your hips forward and open your chest. Again, left hand is either to your low back or your left heel. Reach the right arm towards the back of the mat, lifting up from the sternum, opening your heart. And then to slowly come out of it, round forward and extend both arms out in front of you for a child's pose. Allowing your upper torso to rest over your thighs, forehead to the mat. And just coming back to your breath. On your next inhale, gently lift your gaze. Thread your left arm underneath your right arm, placing your left shoulder and your left cheek on the mat. Lifting the hips up just a few inches away from the heels to come onto the knees. Feeling the stretch in your left shoulder, left palm face up. Preparing for your half camel, place your right hand to your low back, or you can place your right hand to your right heel. Option to tuck the toes if you'd like. And then start to lean your weight towards the right side, coming up onto the knees, rotating your chest, and then lifting the left arm behind you, reaching the fingertips back, opening your heart. Breathing here. Keep pressing your hips forward, and then rounding forward, reaching both arms back coming down into your child's pose to release. Resting here as you take a few deep breaths, resetting the body, just noticing how you feel. And then slowly lifting yourself up cross your ankles and come into a seated position. So you can come into Sukhasana, easy cross-legged pose, grounding down through the sit bones and lengthening through your spine. Coming into a gentle side bend in a twist, so place your right hand behind you and bring your left hand to your right knee. As you inhale, Reach your right arm up and over, and as you exhale, bring your bicep towards your ear, reaching your right fingertips for the top of the mat. Keep pressing down into your right hip, and then place your right hand down. Coming through center and then twisting to the left, left hand behind you, right hand to your left knee. Inhale, the left arm comes up. As you exhale, side bend towards the right. Come back through center. 
good. So we'll prepare for our gratitude meditation. You can choose to either stay upright in a seated position or you can come down into Shavasana. So take these next few moments to get completely comfortable, whatever position you choose. If you're upright, try to maintain a tall spine and just rest your hands wherever they're most comfortable. If you're in Shavasana, allow your legs to extend wide and rest your arms alongside your body with the palms face up. Wherever you are, close your eyes. Begin to tune back into your breath, becoming fully aware of your physical body. And as you breathe here, try to find a full 360 degree fill of your lungs. So feel your lungs expand from side to side, from east to west and also from north to south. So filling up the lungs completely as if they were balloons, taking a big inhale. And then exhale, releasing everything out slowly and steadily until your lungs are totally empty. And then again, inhale, find a 360 degree breath. Feel your lungs expand And when you can't fill up any further, exhale the breath out. Let your breath continue with these full inhales and full exhales. And as you take this effort to pay attention to your breath, spend a moment here in gratitude. gratitude for your body, for all that it does for you, 24 hours a day, and you rarely even think about it. This breath happens all on its own. So give your body a moment of gratitude for continuing to maintain that breath without you even having to think about it. Take one last big inhale, filling the lungs completely. And then exhale the breath out. Now allow the image that you had at the beginning of class of the thing that you were grateful for appear in your mind's eye. Whatever that may be for you, whatever it looks like, allow yourself to be with this image for these next few moments. Observe your feelings. Notice your thoughts. And whatever comes up, simply allow it. Take one more breath here. And then simply allow this image to float away. Start to find small movements in your body, gently wiggling the fingers, wiggling the toes. Keeping your eyes closed. If you're in Shavasana, you can reach the arms up overhead and just gently bend your knees and roll over onto one side of your body.
when you're ready, gently pressing yourself up. Again, finding that comfortable seat if you're not yet there already. Keeping your eyes closed or your gaze soft. Notice how these feelings of gratitude manifest in your physical body. And notice how even just a few moments of gratitude can change your mental and your physical state. With your next inhale, gently extend the arms up overhead. As you exhale, bring your hands to heart center. We'll take one more inhale together. And big exhale out. The light in me sees and honors the light in you. Namaste. Thank you for joining me on the mat for this gratitude practice. And I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day.